did you do that? So that is a good question. How did we do that? Let's find out. We made this short film for the Moment Invitational recently. The film did not get selected, but hey, we learned a lot, and that's what it's all about, really. If you haven't seen the film, link in the description or click the card here on YouTube and check it out before you watch this tutorial. Spoilers ahead, as they say, spoilers ahead. We edited this short film in Final Cut Pro 10. We tend to like Premiere Pro better, but Final Cut definitely plays back the iPhone 4K files easier. Now we did use Premiere on this project and we'll get to that in a few minutes. This is indie filmmaking at its finest. Grabbed a green folder out of one of my kids' backpacks, put it on the grill and instant green screen. Well, sort of anyway. And yes, we shot video of this even though it's a still object because you get that video noise that's just harder to replicate in post-production. So as mentioned, we edited this in Final Cut Pro 10, but we did some work in Premiere, and that was the keying and the cleanup of the key. You can see the key actually does pretty well there, although we typically would crop it first and then key it. And that's what we did. So we actually cropped it and then pulled the key. And it looks pretty good. You're thinking, wow, that keyed pretty well. Well, I like to put another color underneath there to show the rest of the work that you need to do. And sure enough, there's some cleanup, but we knew there would be using a folder like that that wasn't an even green screen. So the next step is almost like Photoshop work, but we're doing it in Premiere, and that's using Mask. You can see all the little dots there are individual lines that I drew around the unicorn. Now I'm not going to draw those for you here, I already did it, but you can see basically we're just cutting out the unicorn from the background to get a nice clean key. If the green background would have been completely even, Ultra Key would have done it fine. But instead I had to draw a mask. Not a big deal because it's not a moving object. So this just took a little bit of time but wasn't that difficult. After that, did a little bit of color correction and then exported a ProRes Quad 4. That's a ProRes file with an alpha channel so we could do the Final Composite in Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, now back in Final Cut Pro, this is the raw footage. This is the Filmic Pro log that we shot using a Moment Tele lens. And that's adding the color correction, adding a LUT and then Film Convert. So like in Premiere, we've already built this effect, so we're actually deconstructing it. I'm gonna turn layers on and off and effects on and off. So you can see the horse there is keyed over the video, but it's not tracked to anything. First of all, we added the various effects to the horse. We did a drop shadow, then we added light rays and light streaks. And after that, we added the Crumple Pop Easy Point Tracker, which is a great tracker for Final Cut Pro. Very easy to use and works very well and all within Final Cut Pro 10. We already did the actual tracking. We tracked it to her hand, so it looks like the unicorn is levitating above her hand. So that is how you levitate a unicorn. We didn't have any magic potions around, so this was the next best thing. How did you do that?